boots on the ground, putting it down. Get up, get up, get up. I got something to tell you. I don't think they want you to know, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. Best-selling researcher Mickey D. I host the Scoop. Welcome back. I want to thank you for joining me. It's a pleasure. It's an honor to be on your electronic device. Thank you very, very much, my friends. Uh, I'm going to have a quick show today because I'm going to come back to you a little later and we're going to go in depth and we're going to take a look at some of these charts and take a closer look and see exactly uh, what's going on as only we can do, guys, because we have our own little special sauce that we mix up and, and it comes out perfect, guys. A couple notes here. The Raiders canceled on me. Uh, I was supposed to be with D-Money and, and the Raiders. Uh, they canceled their practice and we were supposed to do something uh, live over there. Uh, in a Las Vegas yesterday. Ah, no biggie. We'll get back with the Raiders one day. Things we'll do that. Uh, what's going on in our markets, guys? We're up and down, up and down, up and down. You guys know what the markets do. Kazakhstan. You guys love Kazakhstan Prom. That's your, one of your favorite companies here. All that cheap uranium over there, cheap resources over there in uh, Russia, uh, Russian area, Russian controlled area as you guys know i wrote about it years ago why are they gonna that's a story for another day but uh, they cut their 2024 production estimates by 10 percent. now that's going to probably reduce uh supply by about nine million uh, uh pounds a year uranium will be going back up again we'll, we'll see how it goes we'll see how the spot market goes as you can recall it was approximately a year ago that uh uh, I did the spot market, the video, I'll, I'll post it up here, uh, the video, the spot market is now the spot market with the spot, spot use, uh, John Spaglia and, and, and uh, heard from Rick Rule and those guys over there, doing a fantastic job by uh, getting that out there and buying those pounds and stuff. Uh, what a difference a year makes. You know, those guys have really, really uh, done the job. The, let's, let's put it out there, man. They've, they've done the job. And now uh, we're excited and expecting a, a really, uh, really great seasonal trade. So let's let's see how it goes. Um, you know, anything can happen over there. Uh, anything can happen uh, over here. You know, I stick with my guns, guys. When you get in these stocks early, you don't have to trade in and out of these stocks. And that's what we've done. We've gotten in these stocks exceptionally early. The the CEOs and the boards right now, they are working for us, the shareholders. For example, look at UEC, look at Amarinati, look at his dream team, his all-star team. You know, not only are they in Washington, uh, Wyoming, <laughs> and overseas, they're they're all over the world, you know, working for us. And we anticipate our baby knockout that we piled in at a quarter. We expect this thing to go sky high one day and pennies and patience is what we talk about here on the school so it's not it's not financial advice i'm not a stockbroker not a money manager not a financial advisor i just believe in getting in the stocks uh as early as possible and when they do well our baby knockouts when they do well we add to them when they do poorly what do we do we have to let them go guys but the supply fundamentals have never, ever been as good as they are right now. Countries on board, clean energy, carbon free. Guys, everybody wants, everybody in the world is looking in this direction. The wind, like it is right now, to my back, the wind is to our back. If you are a uh, investor right now and you are part of our uranium trade or if you're part of our lithium trade right now, because lithium stocks, are blowing up also and it's going to be a a very 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 uh, exciting uh, seasonal trade here in uh, my opinion guys uh, I'll also leave the last year's seasonal trade video uh, up for you guys uh, you guys know I've been a seasonal trader for a long long time I go way way back guys uh, with with the late Willie T uh, and uh, the, the, he was a great trader uh, his, his thing was, you know, get the charts, you know, the OGs now, get the charts and uh, work off the charts, get this big package. Uh, you guys don't remember this. This is prior to the internet, you know, you guys get everything on the internet now. We used to get these big packages and 
they used to have like the gold and silver and the copper, every, these seasonal trades, and you look at these charts and you flip the page and you, uh, you got, okay, you guys are just, okay, you guys don't know anything about that. But yeah, that was a, that was a time before, before the dot coms, before the internet stocks, before I started trading with Doug Casey and James Dines and those guys, and uh, they, they were instrumental in me getting into companies like AOL early and, and Cisco Systems early and companies like Amazon.com when they were penny stocks under $5, guys. Penny stocks. I bought, actually bought, you're talking to a brother that, that's been there. And then we went with those uranium stocks with those, the same same group, same guys. You know, we, you trust them once, you trust them again, you make a lot of money with them and all that kind of stuff. Same, same group, same group you see out there right now. Uh, Rick Rule and those guys, they were, th th these guys now, these, this is not their first rodeo, guys. These guys have been doing this for years and years and years. And uh, I was uh, fortunate enough to hook up with some of these guys at these money shows and these different different uh, uh, conventions and stuff. And, and the rest is history. But uh, yeah, it, it's going to be a, a great, uh, great little uh, trade for us. Uh, even if you are trading in and out, guys, you, you're doing some swing trades, you have an opportunity to make a whole lot of dinero. But uh, if you want the stocks that we have, you, you know they're out there. Amazon.com. I'm going to leave some links for you. Go to, go to uh, uh, Mickey D on Amazon.com. We've got the uh, uranium stocks for you. We've got the lithium stocks for you. We just put out our gold uh, baby knockouts right now. Gold and silver is going to be a, a top market here. Give it some time, guys. Pennies and patience. These stocks that are two cents, five cents, 25 cents, 30 cents, 40 cents, 70 cents right now. Give them some time. That's 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 this whole game. That's this whole game, guys. You buy good companies and you kind of hold on to them. And that's that's the. Uh, uh, not the Mickey D method, but that's the, uh, I guess, give Warren Buffett credit for that, you know, uh, in anyone, you know. I'm sorry about the, the wind also, if you can hear the wind out here. You guys know I'm not a lighting technician or I'm not a, uh, uh, a sound technician or anything like that. Maybe I need to hire somebody from Hollywood or something to make my videos nice and uh, crisp and all that good stuff. But I'll be back with you later. We're going to show some charts and stuff, and uh, I'll, uh, we'll, we'll, I'll let you know exactly what time it is as we look at it. And as I'm looking at it, uh, uh, you know, I clue you in on every little aspect of what's going on right now. Down days, up days, I will let you know exactly uh, what time it is, guys. And I look forward to that. Like I said, give me uh, give me some uh, time to sleep or time to rest, and then I'll be back with you. And you'll see that probably uh, tomorrow. Love you. God bless you. Take care of you and your family. All the way. Are you solving the world's problems? I'm trying. I'm trying. The world has too many problems for me to solve. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> take care, guys. God bless you. Take care.